In a previous video, I showed you how adding and subtracting two vectors can be made simple by using the tip to tail method, arranging two vectors from the tip of one to the tail of the other, and drawing the resultant vector. But what happens when you add and subtract multiple vectors? In order to show how to add and subtract multiple vectors using the tip to tail method, I'm going to enlist the help of FETSIMS and my good friends at the University of Colorado, whom I've never actually met, but appreciate greatly and will post the link to in the description. To recap, to add two vectors, we take the tip of vector A and place it touching the tail of vector B. We know that the resultant vector is drawn from the tail of the first vector to the tip of the second. I can show that here using this S vector. You can see that it fits snugly in place from the beginning of A to the end of B. But what happens when I introduce a third vector? How does this change the addition of these vectors? And what impact does this have on the resultant vector? Let's say C looks like this. If I apply the same tip to tail logic to add this third vector, I should be able to place the tail at the tip of the previous vector, B. And what I end up with is a geometric representation of A plus B plus C. Based on what we know about the addition of two vectors, the resultant vector should be drawn from the tail of A to the tip of C, like this. Sure enough, my resultant vector S fits snugly right where it should. Now the next logical question you might ask is what happens if you place C in a different position? What if I move it, say, here? After all, this configuration does satisfy the tip-to-tail approach. As it turns out, this configuration is a geometric representation of A plus C plus B. And as you can see, the resultant still fits in place from the beginning of the first vector to the end of the last. We can do this for any combination of these vectors. And from this, we can conclude that it doesn't actually matter what order we add vectors in. The resultant will be the same. We might just have to pick it up and move it to fit in place. So that's vector addition with multiple vectors. Applying the tip to tail method shows that it's essentially the same process as adding two vectors. But what about if we introduce subtraction? Recall from the previous video that subtraction is really just adding a negative. We know that three minus two is really just the same as taking three and adding negative two. In vectors, negatives just mean the opposite direction. So if this is vector C and I wanna find A plus B minus C, what I need to do is take A, place the tail of B at the tip, and then add negative C. To find out what negative C looks like, I need to flip the direction of C and orient it tip to tail with the previous vector, in this case B. From here, we can draw the resultant vector. So what we have here is a geometric representation of A plus B minus C. 